Good afternoon, Poke Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 6 video bringing you a Savali team. Now, Savali has always interested me because it is the mini Arceus, right? It's been labeled as the mini Arceus, having even similar stats to an Arceus in terms of, like, you know, just 95 all around compared to base 120 all around. Um, and it also does have a pretty similar ability to Arceus in general, so this Pokemon has always interested me. It hasn't always been good, and it's always interested me. And, like, we have a running meme on Pokesports that Silvalli makes the most amount of tier changes in comparison to any other Pokemon in Smokon, period. So it is nice that we're actually going to be able to use the Silvalli normal here on the channel. So here is my thought process, guys. I wanted to set up Swamp. If you guys don't know what Swamp is, it's the Grass Pledge, Water Pledge combination move. It sets up a, a Swamp on the enemy side of the field, which cuts all of the speeds of their Pokemon and all Pokemon that swap in by 50% or is it 75% it's a lot it's like disgusting amount of speed reduction um for a couple of turns which is really nice so if you get that set up you can pretty much outspeed anything you want and what that does it allows us to have some pretty hard hitters on this team along with uh, with the Silvalli to help set it up now Silvalli does get grassy pledge for some reason it doesn't get water pledge it doesn't get fire pledge but it, for some reason it gets grass pledge so we're using a Silvalli grass pledge with Primarina Water Pledge. That is going to be our combination here. What's nice about Grass Pledge is that since Silvalli is based 95 speed and we did max out our speed, we're going to be having our Serena go very, very soon as well. The, the Serena speed is actually negligible in comparison because once you use one pledge move, the other pledge move goes right, right after it immediately. It's kind of like round. Uh, but yeah, that's, a pro that's our process to get the Swamp up. Following on, we do have a max speed, max attack, Marowak. The reason I'm doing this is because Marowak is one of the hardest hitters that I could possibly think of. It has the lightning rod to support the Primarina as well, which is nice. And it, that that's kind of my thought process is the rest of my team is going to be hard hitters. So we have the Amoongus. Now this is actually an interesting one. We, we are Turbo Shroom. So <laughs> because my opponent is going to be so much faster, that means we're going to be, you know, a lot faster in comparison with, with, uh, with Amoongus, so we're going to be able to get a lot more spores off as well, which is just going to help us uh, take over the game a lot faster as well. We have the Corviknight here. We have Corviknight and we have Gigantamax Corviknight specifically because since we're setting Swamp up, we don't really need Tailwind. So we might as, have so might as well have something to break some screens if we go against a Grim Snarl or a Lapras. And it also does fit the team well. It does uh, have that ground immunity and is a Steel type, which gives us a lot of resistances. So I felt like Corviknight was nice here. It's not really our hardest hitter, but hey, it fits on the team. And then here's one of our hardest hitter, a Choice Banded, Adamant, Max Attack, Dracovish. The reason we go Choice Banded is because we have no reason to go Choice Scarf. We will already be faster than everything my opponent has. That's the thought process. So, with that said, if you guys are excited to see the Cell Valley team, then by all means, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also, quick little plug, because I worked so hard on this. My Series 6... Uh, team archive on pokesports.org is finally finished so make sure to check the link in the description to, for pokesports.org we if you guys don't know what the team archive is it's pretty much every single team that i've ever used on pokesports done at least for series six is all done i have to go back and do all of the other teams that i've ever used since the beginning of the time i think it's going to be a nice little memoir to pokesports nice little history of pokesports it's really good we have a bunch of strong teams on it as well if you guys didn't feel like coming through videos you do have them all on just one page there so i do really Encourage you to go check it out. Anyway, battle time. Game one against the very tanky team with the Lapras. So maybe the Corviknight is actually to come in handy here. I mean, uh, Corviknight does do well against his Urshifu as well. Uh, but enough about the Corviknight. Let's try to set up our, our Swamp a little bit. We'll go Silvalli. We'll go Prim. I honestly do think that this might be a game for Corv. Actually, it might be a game for Amoongus. If anything, just set everything I can to sleep. While well, I have the opportunity to. I do think Dragovich is going to be useful though. Dragovich takes care of everything on his team except for the Lapras. So we're just going to need something to take care of the Lapras. Which is going to be harder. Easier said than done. Maybe Marowak is our answer. Yeah, maybe Marowak is our answer. I know that sounds weird. But I feel more comfortable going for Max Phantasm. Ah, yeah, let's do it. I feel more comfortable going for Max Phantasm and just kind of guaranteeing that we're going to do damage. Also, something I forgot to mention, it completely slipped my mind. If you guys are interested in the Battle of Legends and you have a Battle of Legends team, like, Pokesports is actually hosting an event. It should be here on your screen right now. Make sure to check it out. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. I'll be playing in it, and I will be trying my best to participate in this. Uh, I guess it's kind of a, a friendly competition. But anyway, back on to the VGC stuff. 
Star versus me. Also, shout out to, uh, to Tofu for setting up the uh, Battle, Battle of Legends thing. Star, what do you got, Tom Tom? Arcanine Meow Stick. I am very, 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 very happy that this is not a, um, it's not a Lapras. That makes me very happy. Bad news. Bad, bad news. Here is, I don't know what Meow Stick is doing, but I'm going to Grass Pledge. Actually, maybe I should just ignore Meow Stick for now and just try to take out an Arcanine if I can. Ooh, I messed that up. Did I mess that up? Fake Tears. I think I might have messed up first turn. Hopefully, we don't get punished too much for it. It's going to Heat Wave. Ooh. Heat Wave or Fake Tears. We're going to take a lot of damage to that. Yeah, I think I Grass Pledged the wrong thing. Did it work? Oh, I think it worked. Oh, that was a crit. That's nice. Is there a Swamp? Okay, I did it right. Amazing. We did it, folks. And we got rid of an Arcanine while we were at it. Not too shabby. Good news here is I didn't really care about that Silvalli Special Defense. The Silvalli, I don't know if you guys noticed, I have Explode on it. I want it to blow up. I don't mind if it goes down. So here's what we'll do. We will explode. And we will protect. Because there's no use in losing a pre-marina this early. <laughs> The bad news would be if the Meow Stick does have Trick Room. He can set up the Trick Room and completely take advantage of the fact that I just lowered his speed. But let's hope it's not the case. Let's hope it's not the case. The, all, the, the next sad news that we have for you guys today is I'm not normal gem. So I won't get the damage boost. I am Chopper Berry just because I found myself getting one shot by Urshifu too much. So the Intimidate that turn one is going to mitigate my damage a little bit, but it's going to be nice. Okay, he's just going for fake tears. I don't care. You could do that all day, man. All day until the end of time. Let's blow up. <laughs> and this gives us a free switch, which is really nice. Let's see how much damage it does to the Meow Stick. That's what I'm curious about. That's good damage. That's half. I'll take it. I will take half as like Intimidated damage. Followed by the Resonance, I really wish I brought over my uh, my Marowak right now. But oh well. Okay, okay. Um, This is kind of okay. We can bring in Jacobish and be fine. Do we Dynamax the Prim? Or do we Dynamax the Marrow? I think I I think I bring in Marrow and Dynamax Marrow first. Here's what we'll do. We'll go for the uh we'll go for the max guard. Predicting him to want to fake tears marrow and then go for the geyser. And then we are going to straight up moonblast the meow stick. I don't want to go for a hyper voice quite yet. Simply because he still could be water absorbed. We don't know for sure. So it's better to, to play as if he is. Because giving him health is not something I want to do today. But if I get rid of the this fake tears user, then I feel a little bit more confident about living a Max Geyser as a Marowak. Fake tears. Oh, onto the Prim. I wonder why, because he can't go for lightning. That is a little bit weird. It's nice that we are outspeeding everything, though. We didn't just knock out the Meow Stick. Okay. Does he just go for Geyser on the Prim? No. Geyser on Marrow. Weird, weird turn. Unless he was just expecting to straight Oko me there. Which is possible. He could have been expecting that. Brings in the Luxray. Okay, here we just uh, Moonblast Luxray. And I think we should set up a Flare. Actually, I think we double in Lux right here. Set up the Flare so we, we can actually live a Max Geyser. Let's do that. Let's double in Lux Ray. Also, Lux Ray was not Intimidate, which is something... Oh, no, that's bad. It's nice that we're setting up Flare, though. We do about a fifth. Okay, that's good. And at least since we have the Flare set up... That's through Aurora Veil, too, by the way, guys. 
At least now if he does go for the max geyser, we're gonna be taking a little bit less damage to it. Nice, okay. And I think his Dynamax is now over too, so I can feel kind of confident going for a max phantasm onto that Lapras now. Actually, I think this is the this is the time where I double into this Lapras. Cause I actually want the rain to stay up. Oh, that swamp disappears. And his guts flame orb. Uh bad news, bad news, bad news. Wee woo, wee woo. Um well, I go for Phantasm on Lapras, and I think I protect. We're still max speed. Let's hope his Lapras is not. <laughs> That is the only thing I'd hope for. The uh, the swamp ended. It ended at the worst time. It was successfully able to, to stall out my Dynamax. It was a little bit sad. We're going to protect with the Prim because the incoming electric move is obvious. Wild charge. Oh, he forgot about... Okay. That's fine. A-OK. -okay. And we do stall... Oh, okay. That's, that's big. The fact that we outspeed Lapras. Oh, he gets so close to knocking it out. Okay, this is fine. This is so fun. We get the defense drop on both Luxray. And he goes for the Hydro. Misses the Hydro. Marowak. <laughs> oh. Everything is falling according to plan. Everything. All right. All right. All right. Let's stop getting so excited, folks. Please relax. Uh, let's go for the Flare Blitz onto Lapras just to knock it out. Followed by the Moonblast onto Luxray. Also just to knock it out. We did just learn that we do still have to be Lapras. He's going to go for Ice Fang on my Marowak, attempting a freeze, I guess, but it's not going to happen. I mean, he also probably doesn't have another option here. We're going to be able to take out the Lapras, followed by a Moonblast onto the Luxray, which is going to be pretty big here. I think, honestly, this, we, we had enough turns of Swamp to where we can really turn this game in our, in our favor. And I don't think my opponent can win as long as my Marowak's in the field, because I feel like he only has... Yep. He has Protect, he has Ice Ice Fang, Wild Charge, and like some other move. But regardless, we defeated Star with a Swamp Team. We did it. Silvalli gets a win here in Master Bolt here. Now this is a hard Trick Room team with Raichu on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Anyway, um, do we really give Swamp to the Trick Room team? I don't think I don't know if we have to. I mean, we could still leave with Sil Valley and do something. But yeah, I don't think we give Swamp to the Trick Room team. That just helps them. But let's do Sil Valley. Let's see Sil Valley and Mungus. We'll try some some new things here. Bring the Corv in the back. Bring Dracovish. I don't think we give him Swamp, but I do think we take advantage of the fact they are bringing. Uh, Oh, but how do we deal with the uh, the Delmize? Well, I guess Corvin I deals with Delmize. We'll be okay in that department. Okay, we'll we'll try this out. We'll give it a shot. Also, common question of the day: What is your favorite legendary Pokemon? Mine has got to be Suicune. I love the fact that Suicune is a dog. I love the fact that Crystal is my first game, and I love the fact that it gets Tailwind and has access to Inner Focus thanks to that new ability capsule thing. That's gonna be amazing. So yeah, comment down below. What is your favorite? Legendary Pokemon and why this looks like a straight-up trick room lead So I think my opponent definitely has to go for The Among Us taunt not taunt fake out That is probably his best option I could blow up but I don't want to Should I just point shot out of here? Go into something a little bit slower. Yeah, we'll party shot into Khan. And we will make... We'll, we're gonna, we'll preserve our Sash here. Or do we make a, an attempt? We're gonna make an attempt to sport. Just in case for some reason he fakes out Sil Valley. But there's no way he fakes out Sil Valley. Yep. I mean, that, that was just a shot in the dark. We're getting the party shot off. He will get the trick him up. But now we're just gonna have an Among Us. That should be outspeeding most of his Pokemon. I'm just going to swap into my Corviknight to set up some bulk ups. Because thankfully nothing on the field here can touch my Corviknight. So I can set up a bulk up here for free. This ain't the end of the world yet. And thankfully since I'm G-Max, I actually won't be ruining myself with Airstreams if I decide to Dynamax this thing. 
So let's bulk up here and let's start firing off spores all over the place. Let's fire it off on the Kangaskhan first. This Kangaskhan is either going to one, switch into something, or two, do damage to my Pokemon. And three, I know I can outspeed the Kangaskhan trick room. Uh, my worst case scenario would be if he switches into Delmize here. He has the Lum, he has the will o -Wisp, but I do have the Lumberry. But that's actually not that great. I think I'm going to have to protect and sleep this, uh... Yeah, I think I definitely have to protect my Corv and sleep the... Oh, he has Last Resort, jeez. And he underspeeds my Amoongus. Oh, Turbo Shroom. That is not very good right now. <laughs> Turbo Shroom is not what I want to see right now. And that's a slow Kangaskhan. All right, it's fine. Let's go for the Spore. Put Kangaskhan to sleep. I have one chance to protect. Oh, I don't have protect. Oh, no. Uh, do I switch here? All my Pokemon are physical. Uh, I guess I bulk up again to negate the burn. And then I spork the clops. And hope he misses. If he misses, that's ideal. Nope. I should have spored the clops first turn, but it's okay. I'll put his whole team to sleep. I don't care. Wait, I could have also rage powdered that. Adoy. That's my bad. I could have totally just rage powdered that. It's fine. I'll just uh, try to whittle down the, the Kangaskhan for now. Actually, Kangaskhan doesn't have anything but normal type attacks, so maybe I don't even bother with the Kangaskhan. I just hit the Dust Clops instead. Mm, I like that idea. We'll double into Dust Clops. I hope that Kangaskhan has one more turn of sleep so I can switch out and reach and get my regenerator up. As long as I'm stalling Trick Room turns out, I don't care. Right? It's like, as long as the Trick Room is... is Wasting time? <laughs> Since I'm wasting Trick Room's time, I think I'm pretty okay. Dusclops still has his mandatory sleep turn. Kangaskhan doesn't. It already used his. Or hers! Withdraws Dusclops. Preserving it. Interesting. Okay. Goes into Delmize. That's a little spoopy. What is that? Room service? Oh, dang, dude. Double swaps. He's going to keep both of his Pokemon in the back asleep. That's kind of relevant. Not going to lie. That's really going to change the game up a little bit. That's still some good damage on Iron Head. This Giga Drain is going to do absolutely, no absolutely nothing, though. Um, What do we do in this scenario? Do we just go back into Silvalli to sack? It all depends on how many turns of Trick Room I have left. I also feel like I should Dynamax this Corbinette right here. I'm gonna G Max one Rage to Delmize. I know I'm burnt, but I'm still plus two, and I don't really have a good Dynamax option in the back. I do think I'm gonna switch into Silvalli here just to get my Regenerator off. Because Mungus is, is still gonna come in handy later on against the, uh, the Rhyperior if I do want to 1v1 him there. I'm just hoping that. I don't think he has a way of proccing weakness policy on anything, and I'm hoping it's weakness policy uh, Rhyperior, because I'm ignoring Rhyperior for now. And another reason why I'm Dynamaxing here is just to take a rock move a lot better. Since one of his two Pokemon on the field are going to Dynamax here. It's like a given. And one of these two Pokemon has weakness policy, that's another given. Oh wait, no, no, it's not uh, It's not Delmize, because we just did learn about his... Uh, is room service, so it's definitely the Rhyperior. It also goes for Fire Punch. Okay, he's not Dynamaxing yet. So this is gonna do a lot of damage onto Delmize. It's just gonna knock it out. That's pretty good. I mean, that was a crit. I honestly don't think it, the crit mattered. We're plus two. Twisted Dimension did, did just return to normal too, so that's, we're fine. Um. Here's the thing, he just goes back in with Dusclops here. Yeah, but Dusclops is, is still asleep. It is still asleep. Um, sadly, I can't switch out, though. I really want to switch out. Um, okay, I guess we just keep whacking at this Dusclops, right? Or we just set up our defenses. Yeah, let's set up our defenses and whack at the Dusclops as well. Followed by... I'm going to try to Grass Pledge right here. 
No, no, I shouldn't do that because that's just going to give a weakness policy. I'll parting shot into my Amoongus here. Then that way I could have my Spore back on the field. Rapier protects. Okay, that's good that I didn't grass, uh, grass pledge into it. This battle's making me think too much. This parting shot is just for the pivot. Because my anchor shot has me... Wait, can I still switch? Yes, okay. So we bypass anchor shot there. And then we go into our Amoongus. Who's now at <laughs> like 70 HP after the regenerator. That is beautiful. Oh, that's like 50. That's still beautiful. I get the steel spike off. We're going to raise our Amoongus' defense a little bit, which is nice because we just learned that the right here has fire punch. And now uh, he's still fast asleep. Here's the issue. Um, we can't... <laughs> he's... It, since he's going for trick rooms, I can't go for spores. I need him to be awake to go for a spore. I just realized that. Mm, that kind of sucks. Um, I'll just spore the Rhyperior then. <laughs> we got to play this game sometimes, guys. This is the game we're playing today. It's the put everything to sleep game. You feel bad, but, you know, that bad feeling goes away eventually. <laughs> night, night, Rhyperior. Our peer is still asleep. Dust Clops will probably wake up here instead of Trick Room. No, not today. Not yet. Not yet. My Corviknight has plus four defense right now, so I really don't want to switch it out. I'm feeling kind of confident with it on the field. Um, in fact, let's go for an Iron Head onto Rhyperior. And a Giga Drain onto Rhyperior. He didn't Dynamax. That is amazing. I really wanted him not to Dynamax there. We do break the weakness policy. Which is expected. But like I said, we have plus four defense. So I feel a little bit confident around this weakness policy. And I also just want to get all of the... I just Oko it. You guys want to know how much special attack investment I have on this Among Us right now? Four. <laughs> four. That's all you need. But my opponent didn't Dynamax yet. That's kind of sketching me out. Wait, is that Dusclop still asleep? <laughs> and he has, still has the sleep. The Kangaskhan to sleep as well. Oh, this is just dirty. I feel... Okay, I feel low-key bad for this. But you can't feel too bad. I'm just going to double into Clops here. I got to get his health down. So let's double into it. Battle skin. And that's how you do it, folks. <laughs> you see Trick Room? You put him to sleep. Done deal. Ooh, a Lycan Rock. Now, I've actually been, been testing a Lycan Rock because uh, one of our patrons did request a Lycan Rock this month. So I've been uh, I've been having some fun with it. It's actually not a bad Pokemon, but my opponent is actually running the Dusk one. I'm not running that one. I think I'm running the uh, the Sand Rush one. But does want the dust one is pretty cool too. It does get tough claws, does get access to like Excel Rock, which is priority, and does get tough claws boosted. So it's interesting. But the good news about my opponent's team is that it's kind of frail. And I kind of have an answer to all of it on my team. I can lead with just Sil Valley and Primarina here and set up my my swamp. And then probably sweep with Dracovish and Corviknight alone. Or even Dracovish. No, no, not even. Dracovish and, and Marowak destroy this team. Let's do that. So the, the, the game plan here is set up Swamp, sweep team with two strong physical attackers. My opponent also doesn't have access to Intimidate, which is amazing. They opted for the Volcarona here. Which doesn't mean too much for me because I don't have a lot of special attackers. Volky and Amoongus. This is fine. Because we can actually blow up the, the Volcarona here as long as the Amoongus doesn't read this Grass Pledge move. Which not a lot of people do because this is honestly not very popular. They also just might think I'm going for Hyper Voice and then not even bother going for a Rage Powder anyway. Because it's spread move. 
But this looks like a just kind of like a straightforward like rage powder quiver dance lead. Which on one hand is annoying. Oh, never mind. It's just the Dynamax first turn. So we're definitely not KOing here. But as long as we get the swamp up, we are sitting in a very good spot. And we also need a Moongus to just like go for spore or something. Oh, did it probably did go for spore. It's gonna max flare into my Silvalli. I think I should take this. Nice. We're gonna get a nice uh water pledge off. In the in the sun, but hey. We beggars can't be choosers. We do get the swamp up, which is all I needed. Does no damage to Volcarona, but good enough for me. Now the Amoongus is kind of an issue. And he does just spore, okay. So here's what I'll do. I think what I do is blow up. Explode and then swap into my Marowak and hope that the Volcarona wants to hit my rim with something Now that I'm asleep I don't think he double spores that spot that'd be kind of weird So as long as I bring in my Marowak here safely, I hope I resist all of Volcarona's stuff or protect even better Let's see, who does he... Oh, I outsped this time because of the, the swamp, that's right. It's time to blow up! Kaboom. I wish I hit that Moongus there. I wish. We do so much damage to Volk. Okay, that's really good. Okay, now we're sitting in a very prime position. Um, Flutterby is going to do garbage damage. That's like four times resisted. That still did more than I wanted it to. Um... Okay, we what we need to do here is Ugh, we need a KO. How do we KO? Cause he's gonna rage powder me, right? Do Dragovish? That seems a little bit weird to Dragovish here. I guess I could Dragovish and Rock Slide this. And then we KO we end up KOing the uh Oh yeah, then that way we still do bypass. The redirection and we do KO the Volk. So I think Rock Slide is actually our best option. Followed by Dynamax and Max Flare this the Sabungus. And that'll break us through the, the lead. Finally. We break through the Dynamax, we break through the lead, and we're left with our own Marowak on the field. Which should be able to tear through the rest of the team. Because I think the rest of the team was like uh, Serena and friends. So we'll be okay. Anyway, big old Marowak. Gotta say, my favorite Gen 7 Pokemon in the history of Pokemon. It's such a dope design, such a cool typing. They outdone themselves with Marowak, for sure. Anyway, Rage Powder is gonna be irrelevant thanks to Rock Slide. The Choice Band of Rock Slide should actually be more than enough to KO the Volcarona there. Lovely. And now this Amoongus is just left as a sitting duck. Sitting duck to this Max Flare that's about to pop you in the jaw. I don't know if I should just stick with Rock Slide or switch out. I guess I'll make my decision after I see what their last two are. So I do have the option to switch into my Sleepy my sleepy Primarina. Oh, this team is so much fun, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this rental code. I really do. I, spent, I Like, I built this from scratch, and I spent a lot of time thinking it through. So I really do hope that you guys like it. A few changes that I would make- Ah, oh, and he did bring the Serena. That's so good. A few changes that I would make is maybe stick Taunt on Sylvalia. It would have helped us a lot with that last battle. Inteleon. I can't- I can't wait to see myself be faster than an Inteleon as a Marowak. I'm gonna Rock Slide again. And I'm gonna Max- No! I think I messed up. I mean, honestly, this might still KO the Inteleon. Like, real talk, this might still KO the Inteleon. Oh yeah, it totally will. So this actually isn't too bad. <laughs> this actually is not too bad. All right, I mean, I made a mistake, but that's kind of good. <laughs> kind of doesn't mean too much. The issue is that, oh, and we get a flinch. The swamp does disappear though. So Serena has a chance to KO my Marowak, but I don't think, I think it's way too late for that. I think it's way too late for that. We did more than enough damage to take this game and make it ours. He's gonna power whip. That, yeah, that does not do it. That will not do it, folks. We're going to keep Rock sliding, because why not? It's going to do a nice solid chunk. 
followed by Max Flair to finish off this game. That is three battles, three wins. That is a team. Swamp is so underrated, in my opinion. Especially now that Rillaboom's gone. Good riddance, Rillaboom. We have Swamp now. <laughs> we can actually run Pokemon that aren't going to get punished by fake out and priority shenanigans with Grassy Glide. But anyway, that's the team. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe for more fun, gimmicky stuff. How do you guys feel about some meme teams here and there? I mean, this wasn't a meme team. It was a gimmick team for sure. It's like a best of one cheese. People really don't see the Silvalli coming with uh, Grassy Glide. Uh, grass pledge because for some reason it has it it's just, it's just one of the moves that it has uh but yeah tell me what you think here's the rental code if you guys want to try it out for yourselves and take it onto the battle spot to give it a chance i mean i had a lot of fun with it if you guys end up having fun with it and you want to talk to me about it come back to this video right in, in the comment section below hey kevin this team was great or hey kevin this team sucks let me know anyway i'm kevin spooky sports i hope you enjoy this video and hope you have a great night peace out